Hi guys, so today I decided I was going to film a bookshelf tour um, because I don't really know what else to do. So I decided I'll do this in two parts because I have multiple areas where I keep my books so it'll just be easier that way. So yeah, this is the first part. So this is the first area I keep my books. It's like um, my nightstand. So. Back here I have Mythology by Edith Hamilton. I have the Fable Haven series by Brandon Mule. Um, Cindy Ella by Robin Palmer. I have The Lost Files of Nancy Drew, which is huge. Um, then over here I have Around the World in 80 Days and Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. I also have the Cartoon History of the Modern Worlds Part 1 and 2, which I would definitely recommend if you like history or want to get an introduction to it. I have Drinking Coffee Elsewhere by ZZ Packer, Sandra Brown's Envy, and Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. Um, I'm starting like a new shelf right here. I just recently like cleared this out for books because I have so many I need to expand. So over here I have Mindy Kaling's Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me, Jasper Ford's Shades of Grey, Democracy by Henry Adams, Where'd You Go Bernadette by Maria Simple, and Trains and Lovers by Alexander McCall Smith. And then this is my really cute owl bookend. And then I just usually keep whatever books I'm currently reading here because it's right next to my bed. So if you're wondering, I have The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn for school. And then for fun, I'm reading The Art of Intelligence by Henry A. Crump. Then I have like on top of my dresser, there's another area for books. So yeah, I'll start up here. I have two Gilded Joyce novels. So there's The Ladies of the Lake and the Ghost Sonata by Something Allison. I have a bunch of Philip Pullman books. So The Tiger in the Well, The Ruby in the Smoke, The Shadow in the North, and The Tin Princess. I have The Thief Lord by Cornelia Funk. Uh, the Peter and the Star Catcher series by Dave Barry and I want to say Ridley Pearson, not sure if that's his name. Um, Anne of Green Gables. I have Shakespeare is Alive by Something Brooch. And then I have the Inkheart Trilogy by Cornelia Funk, which I loved as a child. I have my AP European History Crash Course book, which let's never read that again. I have Barack Obama's Dreams from My Father. Um, Ewing Colfer's Artemis Fowl, Happier at Home by Gretchen Rubin, which is the sequel to The Happiness Project, Things Fall Apart by Chinua Akebe, Siddhartha by Herman Hess, um, and then I have like some children's books, which include The Twits, Fantastic Mr. Fox, and The Witches by Roald Dahl. Then down here I have uh, some, some books from the A Song of Ice and Fire series, so I have Game of Thrones, Clash of Canes and A Storm of Swords by George R. R. Martin. I have The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. I have Stephen King's The Running Man and The Stand, Nine Stories by J.D. Salinger, The Wine of Solitude by Irene Mirovsky, Bram Stoker's Dracula, The Man in the Brown Suit by Agatha Christie, The Great Gatsby, this tiny little book right there is Animal Farm by George Orwell, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, um, North Anger Abbey by Jane Austen, Oryx and Crake by Margaret Atwood, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, Mirror Mirror, Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister, and Wicked by Gregory Maguire. So up here is sort of messy um, and random. I have a French book about Napoleon in French um, that I won. Yay, okay, I've never read that. I don't think I could read it if I wanted to. Um, I have 12 and 13 by Lauren Miracle. I have 11, but it's not in my house. The Lovely Bones by Alice Sebold. Lord of the Flies, if you can see that, by William Golding. Life of Pi by Anne Martell. The Supernaturalist by Ewing Colfer. The Hiding Place by Corey Ten Boom. Anne Frank's Diary. Um, Eli Weasel's Night. And I believe uh, all three books in here are about the Holocaust. Not sure about The Hiding Place, but I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, so those are definitely books that you need to read. If you haven't already, um, I still need to read that one. 
Anyways, getting off topic, I have some more Philip Pullman books in it. I don't even know. I have Charlie in the Chocolate Factory and Charlie in the Great Glass Elevator by Roald Dahl, uh, Blubber, and Starling, starring Sally J. Friedman as herself by Judy Bloom, A Little Princess, um, The Stone Family Robinson, which I think is hilarious. Uh, yeah. Romeo and Juliet. I have a Nancy Drew book. This one's The Hidden Staircase by Caroline Keene, and then this is where it gets really weird. Um, I have just a bunch of headbands here, and I don't feel like moving them, so. I have Dragon Rider by Cornelia Funk, A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, which is completely destroyed, I'll show you. The back doesn't even have the cover anymore, but, you know. Uh, oh no, it's covering up A Christmas Carol. Oh well. Um, I just have, like, in our children's book, I don't even know what that is. I have The Secrets of My Hollywood Life series. I don't know if this is all of them or not, but they're by Jen Kalonita. I have, oh, I need to move this, The Seer of Shadows by Avi, The Schwa Was Here by Schusterman. I have a Chinese and English version of, um, what are they called, like the Wimpy Kids Diaries or something? So yeah, I have that. The Princess Academy by Something Hale, and then I have the Beach Blonde series by Katherine Applegate, so that also includes tan lines. And then down here is the last section I will show you today. So this is just a bunch of books I'm giving away to the used bookstore to get some book credits to buy more books. Um, so I just have the Harry Potter series, pretty basic, and then, oh gosh, I need to move these back over. I have a bunch of Oz books, and these are really old. They're, I think, from like the 50s. Uh, they were my dad's and my aunt's, and then they passed them down to me. And if I ever have children, I'm supposed to pass those down to my children. So yeah, I'll just show you. They have like really nice illustrations and they're just really nice and old and I love them. And maybe one day I'll reread them. Okay, that's it. I hope you guys like this. Bye!